Yes, it has finally arrived. Hamilton comes from Broadway to Philadelphia, and we're ready for it. <laughs> I can hardly speak, so you took a risk in asking me to talk to you because I can't believe this is happening. Yes, thank okay. you so much. It's so good now, to see you. Now, you have to wait to get in. Did that oh, matter? I, I, we will. We got your tickets uh, early. So we're going to go find this handicap entrance and get there quick. Good luck. Thank you so much. You say gorgeous. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but initially, he only had um, the rear mezzanine up higher. Well, girl, I got an orchestra, and I'm in the middle. Congratulations. See, that's not for God. <laughs> he know I needed that this evening, right? Can and I ask you, how much did you have to pay for that ticket? That was a couple of dollars. <laughs> it's a couple of dollars. Cherie Darden. Scoop never looked like this. Congratulations. This is the new Scoop. It provides an opportunity for people who actually don't have an outlet, who want to speak, who have information that they want to share with somebody else. Most people want to share information because they want to help somebody else. Because if I go down the street and I fall in that pothole, I want to let you know that it's a pothole there so you don't fall in it too. That's the whole point of it is providing an opportunity for somebody to not go through the same things that you've gone through. I'll tell you who it was. It was Mr. Steve Sattel. He's such a good supporter of ours and he, he actually really does come through. But I was mentioning to him that the paper's a dollar now and I haven't made a dollar yet. He was like, oh, well, here, take a dollar. <laughs> like your paper's worth more than a dollar. So this is the 77 year. And they're put up because if you see the condition yeah. that they're in, because he actually had them in an open room and they weren't covered. So now they're actually in the drawer, but this is January of 77. I've been kind of under the weather, folks. Had a bad cold. They thought they saw some cancer, which they're going to treat me about. But actually, laying down and thinking about it, I thought this was the end. I was finished. It ain't going to be like that, folks. I'm coming out. I'm coming out with the last hurrah because I want to get in that game again. And I, I might even write a book. Maybe I'll do a little modeling. Who knows? I might even get a couple endorsements. I can't say no at 92. You don't say no at nothing. Folks, you've been good to me, and I want to give back. That's what this campaign is all about. You've seen it. You've heard about it. You've wondered what's going on. Well, we started this a little while ago. My folks are ready for it. Everybody was in place, but I just didn't, I just didn't have it. I wasn't ready. But golly, golly, I'm ready right now, and I'm going to do this last hurrah if it kills me, because I'm going to be here for you, and you're going to be with me on this journey, and we're just going to got to do it, because it's about time.